Nazareth here. Peace, peace. Look, we're looking at nature today. When I've done, I've set up a little bit of an experiment. What I've done, I've taken some whole wheat, uh, whole wheat grain, and I've taken rice, white rice, and I've taken white sugar. And I set it out into the environment, and I want to see which insects or animals would be attracted to which substance. So let's take a look first at the white sugar. If you notice, when you take a look at the white sugar, the first thing you're going to see is that we have a lot of bees and wasps that are trying to utilize the white sugar. So nature has built-in protection. Nature has a way of allowing the bees to take the sucrose, which is the sugar, and convert it over into glucose. And they utilize the glucose in the process of making honey. So nature has built-in protection for these insects because they're able to take something that's a bad substance like granulated white sugar and convert it over into the glucose that is needed to make honey. The reason why they make honey and the reason why they need this substance is because it's very important for them to store food during the winter time because during the winter time the plants receive the pollen is no longer available so they need a food source for their young and they need a food source to keep them over during the winter months so what they do during the summer they harvest this sucrose and glucose usually they get it from uh, trees like sap you see sap coming out of trees they usually get it from there and they harvest it and that's how they make their honey and then the purpose of honey and the remarkable aspect of honey is that it's sterile. No, micro, no microbes can live in it. No fungi, uh, funguses, any of those things uh, are not able to exist in the presence of honey because they take the glucose and they evaporate the water out of it and through a mechanism that they have. But you can see here, this is granulated white sugar, poison. But they have a built-in protection that allows them to take this and convert it over. Now, let's look at the other thing. Now, what we have here is whole wheat flour. I put some whole wheat flour out here. I want you to take a look at it. Now, what you're going to see are fire ants that have infiltrated this whole wheat flour. And they're utilizing the, su the sugar that is in the whole wheat. Because whole wheat has a lot of sugar in it. So there's sugar in the, in the grain. And they're harvesting the sugar out of that grain. They're harvesting the sugar out of it so that they could. What you see here are red fire ants. You look really close. And this is whole wheat grain, whole wheat flour that I placed out here. And the ants are utilizing it. It is not their first choice, but it is a secondary choice because what they can use from it is the glucose that's in it. They can extract the glucose from it from the whole wheat flour, just like the bees can extract the glucose from the sucrose that's in the white sugar. So nature has a way of utilizing what it has to make what it needs. You understand? It's very important you understand that. All right, now we're gonna take a look over here. Now let's look over here at the rice. Now I got some white rice out here. And as you can see, it's been out here for about eight days now. Ain't nothing in this rice. Nothing. Ain't no animals in it, no bugs. You see what I'm saying? You might see a, 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 a few ants here or there looking for something to get from it. But basically the rice, because of the form that it's in and also because of because there's nothing in it, no nothing in nature is gonna touch this rice. This rice will stay out here for months. If I don't clean it up, it will stay out here for months. And no insect or animal is going to touch it because it's sterile. It don't have nothing in it that uh, can be utilized fully, not in the present state that it's in. If I were to boil it and add more water to it, that might allow the ants or, or whatever, whatever other insects to extract some of the sugar from it. But as you can see, ain't nothing in that rice. And you eating all that Chinese food, eating all that rice all the time, you wonder why you got nutrition problems. You can't eat the rice because there's nothing in it. All right? So out of everything that we looked at, 
out of out of everything that we looked at, we looked at the sugar, we looked at the whole wheat flour, and we looked at the rice. The sugar would be the first source that the insects will go to because it has the higher concentration of glucose or sucrose in the white granulated sugar has a higher concentration of it so because of that higher concentration that would be the first choice the second choice would be the whole wheat flour and then the, and then the white rice is not even a choice there's nothing in nature would choose to eat white rice so my point to you is, is that if you're going to continue to eat this chinese food with the white rice and then not at least get um brown rice because if you get brown rice that means you got a different type of grain right you got just like the whole wheat flour that's why you should get brown rice instead of white rice whenever you're eating chinese food because it's going to destroy the insulin receptors in your body and cause all types of other kind of problems to teach towards what is good for them and they have a resistance toward what is bad for them they're going to go after what they can utilize so you know if, if you have to choose the lesser of two evils between glucose or sucrose and white sugar or whole wheat flour if they didn't have any other choice they would go after the whole wheat flour if that was what was all that if that was the only thing that was available but if that is not the only thing available they're going to go after the thing that they can get the most energy from the fastest and can utilize the quickest and the most efficient energy source that they need to, to utilize in order to get the energy that they need they're gonna go after that they're not gonna mess around with nothing else and my point to you is that why is it that animals a bee a wasp a ant got enough damn sense to eat the food that it's supposed to eat but when you take that ideal and concept to human beings we so doggone confused we don't know what to eat so you got you eating white flour white rice you know, white potatoes that don't have anything in it that the body can utilize. You have been de detached from your natural base. And because you've been detached from your natural base, you no longer have the ability to decide what food is good for you and what food is bad for you. Do you think that the mother honeybee sat down and had to teach the baby honeybee what was good for them? No, this was a genetic factor. There are, do you think that the mother spider has to teach the baby spider how to make a web? No, it is genetic. It comes out of their genetic memory. It comes out of their genetic composition. So they know exactly what to do because it's programmed in their memory code. We have a program as well in the human genome, but that program is being interfered with by the profiteers who want to keep you sick. Your food compass has been interfered with and it's been interfered with to make a profit so if I can get you addicted to sucrose which is not the form that you need the sugar to be in I can control you if I can get you addicted to foods that have no substance in them white rice white rice has nothing in it I just showed you that nothing in nature is going to choose that white rice if nothing in nature will choose the white rice that should be a good indicator to you that it's not in the natural balance of my art. It's not in the natural balance of the life cycle of the world as well as the universe. So that is something we're going to have to look at further. So the experiment today was to show you if you eat a whole bunch of white rice, you're not getting nothing from it. I don't care how much lorries you put on it. I don't care how much sauce you put on it. I don't care what you try to mix it up with. It is nutrient deficient. So if you're going to eat any kind of rice, if you're going to do that, eat brown rice, whole grain brown rice. That's the best rice you can get if you're going to get rice. If you're getting white rice, you're not going to see nothing in it. As you see right there, when you look in here, ain't nothing in here. You got a few little ants in here looking for something, but it ain't nothing in here. 